I would like to say to welcome you to One Touch Ministries, second our home gathering, where our overseers is Pastor Shannon and Prophet is Nadidra Young, and the campus minister is myself, as in, uh, Minister Henry Jackson. Um, yeah, we're going to start a service. Yeah, we, uh, we, yeah, we just uh, welcome, and so I'd like to uh, welcome all of you who are new, who are uh, frequently uh, uh, watchers, I'll just say thank you for coming back. Um, yeah, we do hope that you have a good time with us. We hope that you come again. Um, yeah, we're going, going to start off the old scripture first. Uh, Sister Barbara Jackson got the uh, old scripture for us. Coming from Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And the darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the, the <laughs> night day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be found it in the midst of the water, let there divide it, the water from the water. And God made the farmer and divided the water which were under the firmament from the water which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called his firmament heaven, and in the evening and the morning was the second day. The Lord's word has been read and blessed. Amen. I'm going to say, um, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, what you want to uh, read the uh, news uh, testament? Okay. Okay, we're coming from Ephesians 5. Be ye therefore follow of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us, and have given himself for us in the offering and a sacrifice to God for the sweet smell for sorrow. Be fundamentally with all uncleanness or covenants, let it not be one's name among you as becoming saints. Neither filthy nor foolish talk nor justice, which are not convenient, but rather giving of things. For this, for this ye know, that no one more, nor unclean person, nor com converted man who is in item and have inherited the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deliver you with bad words, for because of these things which the rapture of God unto the children of disobedience. Lord, we're having read and blessed again. Here we're going to start our uh, prayer. Um, so we're going to uh, gather up uh, in a circle and pray. But uh, dear Heavenly Father, yeah, we, yeah, I do pray unto you this morning, and I ask that you do uh, give, give us the strength that we need throughout this week. And then, Father, I, I do pray to you that you do give us the, 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 uh, anything that's in our life that we are lacking. That I ask that you do fulfill it within our lives, whether it be uh, healing for sickness, whether it be financial breakthrough, uh, 
uh, whether it be, you know, any problems that need to be solved that, that those will be left in your hands. Did I ask that you do? Uh, if you come to an agreement with me, and we call the, uh, that we do, that we do receive uh, the gift that he has died for us to receive. And the one from the name of Jesus, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a prayer that you want, want to pray for? Yeah, kind of gracious Father, we thank you for giving us the ride this morning, both of our right mind. Thank you for blessing us to start out on another day journey. We didn't have to pray for God to be. We thank you for giving us a portion of our hands and spirit to use our men to be take care of rooted to have this ability. Keep on, Father God, strengthen us when we are weakened, build us up, and we are torn down. Problems on every lead inside. Lord, we just thank you for giving us the opportunity to call upon your name in the time of trouble. You say we have not, but we ask not. We ask in you, Father God, to keep giving us the help and strength that we need to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we're going, yeah, we're going to start now with, with praise and worship. Jesus is on the main line. Tell you what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. If you sick and you can't get well, tell him what you want. Oh, if you sick and you can't get well, tell him what you want. If you sick and you can't get well. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Yeah, so now we have a, a testimonial part of service. So um, if you do have, have a testimony that you want to be thankful uh, for, for the Lord for. I just thank God for today. I just thank God for allowing me to see another day. That's been coming ever since creation. I just thank God for my health and my strength. I thank God for my mother. Thank God for my sister. Father, I just thank God that that I know that He's gonna heal me with my sickness. And I know things is gonna come out all right when I go and have this surgery done. Because he's a doctor and he never lost a patient. And I just thank God for who he is. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. I just thank the Lord for being so good to me. Thank you for being so good to my mother, my sister, my nephew, my nieces. I just thank God for being so good to everybody because he didn't have to do it, but he did it anyway. I just thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. Well, my testimony is thank God in Him. Thank God for blessing us. Thank God for keeping us in His keeping power. And thank God for giving us the opportunity to be able to take care of my, my daughter the best way I can. And to keep on giving us the health and strength that we need to continue to do your will. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us and keeping us in your keeping power. And leading us and blessing me, asking your son Jesus' name. Lord, amen. Amen. Yeah, my testimony is is I just thank the Lord, uh, yeah, for, for all he's done for me within this week. Um, for my loved ones, uh uh whether whether they were friends or uh enemies, that I, I I just pray that the Lord do bless those people um as well. So uh no, I, I'm still praying that the Lord do um that he still do heal heal my mother, um, from from her illness, and uh, that he do well continue uh, teaching me and training me up in, in the way he want me to go, um. So so then I could be more more faithful and more more dependable <coughs> upon him, um. And again, I I I thank the Lord for you know everyone's uh, rather it was. You know, uh, hard, less less we fall on hard times. I still see that 
as a blessing, as an opportunity. I, I still even see us uh, when we're in our happy states. I uh, still uh, uh, thankful for the Lord for 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 being there for us. Uh, so then we we can give Him thanks for the things that He's has already done and about to do for us. Yeah. So now I want to go to the sermon. So the sermon that I may 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 preach on yeah, it may be uh yeah a very touchy subject here and, and I just ask that the Holy Spirit do uh use me um that, that he do that he do allow the words to come out the way that they are intended to come out. Um when you do have your Bibles and go to the book of John uh chapter four and we're going to start at verse 5. In a small Sumerian town uh, known as Sakar, uh, Jesus and his encouraged, oh, I'm sorry, Jesus and his entourage stopped to rest at, at the historic well that Jacob gave his son Joseph. That it was about noon when Jesus found the spot to sit close to the well where the disciples vented off to find provisions. And it said, from, from his vantage, he watched as a Sumerian woman approached a draw some water. It's all some water. It said, unexpectedly, he spoke to her. And Jesus spoke and said, uh, would you draw water and give me a drink? And the woman responded, I, I, I cannot believe that you, a Jew, would associate with, with me. A yeah. Sumerian woman, much less asked me to, to give you a drink. So he said, Jews, you see, ha, uh, have no dealings with Sumerians. Say, you say, if it's a, uh, Jesus responded and said that you don't know the gift of God or who is asking you for a drink of this water. From, from Jacob's well, because if you did, you would have asked him for something greater, and he would have given you the living water. Verse 11 says, Sir, so you've been sitting by this deep well, a thirsty man without a bucket in sight. Say, where does this living water come from? Say, you are claiming superiority to our father Jacob who labored long and hard to dig and to maintain this well so that he could share clean water with his sons, grandchildren, and cattle. So Jesus' response said, Drink this water and your thirst is quenched only for a moment, that you must rather, that you must return to this well again and again and offer water that will become a wellspring within you that gives life throughout eternity. You, you will never be thirsty again. So the woman said, please, sir, give me some of this water so I'll never be thirsty and never again have to make the trip to this well. Verse 16, Jesus responded, said, but well, then bring your husband to me. And she responded that I, I do not have a husband. Jesus said, technically, you are telling the truth, but you have had five husbands and are currently living with the man that you are not married to. Says she, she responded, Sir, it is obvious to me that you are a prophet. Our fathers worship here on this mountain, but your people say that Jerusalem is the only place for all to worship. Which, which is it? And Jesus responded, Woman, I tell you that neither is so. Believe this. A, a new day is coming. In fact, it is already here. Say so when when the importance will not be placed on the time and place of worship, but on the truthful hearts of worshipers. Your worship you worship what you don't know, while we worship what we do know. For God's salvation is coming through the Jews. The Father is spirit, and he is seeking followers who worship is source in truth and deeply spiritual as well. Re regardless of whether you are in Jerusalem or on this mountain. If you do not seek the Father, then you do not worship. 
in verse 29, what I'm sorry, in verse 25 reads, she's fine. These, these ministry, these mysteries will be made clear by he who is promised the anointed one. And Jesus responded saying that the anointed one is speaking to you. So I, I am the only, I am the one who have been, who you have been looking for. Um, there, uh, there, I just read you John 4, 5, uh, through 26. Um, and today message that I want to get into is talking about, you know, the true meaning of worship. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, the, 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 the story about the well of the woman going to Jesus at the well. Well, she was coming to the well on the purpose of her just getting something in the drink. Um, ra uh, rather it, 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 it be, you know, she was thirsty or rather it be yeah, she needs some water to get to uh, clean her clothes or whatever it may be. But. But uh, one one of the things that I wanted to to point out here is what the Lord pointed out to me was uh was I had a conversation with a friend this morning and and I had asked her, do she go to church? And she responds to me, yes, yeah, she go to church, but it's so yeah, she doesn't uh go to worship service like like she she doesn't like worship service. So um then as when I had a I, I I had a question I wanted to ask her, but she, she, well, she had to go to bed, but um, but it had link the the, the question lingered in my mind, was that uh, is it is it that she she doesn't like worship? Is it, because, uh, it's because it, it, is it the songs that they're singing, or or it'll say is it the the fact that they that they don't the church that she goes to that they're that they're still still religious bound on. On certain dress attires, um, or else you know that could be a number of factors. But however, you no, know, it, it it stood out to me is that maybe that she doesn't know the true meaning of worship, and so most of us go in as if we were taught. Even I was taught when when we were grew up Baptist. You, you know, we were taught worship is actually where we're supposed to sing songs and and dance and give the the Lord. His praise, and there is nothing wrong with with giving God His praise. There's nothing wrong with praying and, and dancing and testimony and foot because those things are are needed um, uh, for us as well. But most importantly, uh, when I had looked look this up inside of my dictionary here in my Bible dictionary, and I want to read to you what what the word worship really means. So the word worship here means that reverence with the devotion and alliance pledged to, to God. It is said that the rituals or ceremonies by which this reverence is, is expressed. So the English word worship comes from the old English word worship. So a word that denotes the worthiness of the one receiving the special honor or devotion and so so what I have wanted to point out to you is the definition stated that that to worship yeah, it means means to know how worthy someone is or or let, 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 let me put it in turn where where you can understand it uh, yeah we all have gifts and talents that we have and so if you're you're good at math you're good at solving problems and then it it can become a a dishonor to you amongst when people don't come to you when they need help with math when they need help with taxes or or anything that 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 you may have a gift at doing and so what the woman with the issue of blood what the, I'm sorry what the woman at the well was doing to Jesus was she uh she treated Jesus like she did all the other five men and she assumed that when she go to them is she, she just because she didn't understand their worth, their their worthiness, and and and, and so time it doesn't just happen on one side, but it happens with men how men treat women the same way, how we tend to look at our women, we tend to assume that that they're not worthy enough. It's because maybe they dress too downward, 
or 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 or, or else say maybe they dress too loose or they uh, act too loose, and, and so we tend to try to play downward, you know who who they really are, and so for this instant, Jesus was sitting at the well, you know, uh, out there in, in the hot sun, and he assumed that she was going to ask him, which uh, you know, oh uh, 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 yeah, excuse me, sir, you know, are you thirsty? No, what? Uh, what's your name? Do 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 you need anything to drink? And and, and the, the, the fact of the matter is that she overlooked what he needed because she was more in tune to what she wanted rather than her realizing what he's capable of doing for her. And so here, the, the, the thing that I want you to understand here is that she re really missed it, the, the, the whole purpose here of worship. So the whole purpose of her worshiping Jesus at the well wasn't about her bowing down to him and giving him, you know, treating him as as, as this bowing down king. But he more he he morally wanted her to recognize that 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 I'm sitting here and I'm capable of doing for you what you can't do for yourself. And and so so the issue here Jesus has with the woman at the well is he has an issue. With her not not asking from him what it is that she wanted, and so don't we all understand? Don't we all know? Is that that we all are 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 dis, uh, uh, respecting and not worshiping God? Will we not going to Him and asking Him for the things that we need? And so you know, the things that 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 we are lacking, the things that we're hoping to get, whether it's a husband or a wife, or whether it's a family, uh, rather if it's a, 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 us coming back together in unity, you know, whatever those things that are that we are in need of, that the fact that you overlook God because you think that, because religion taught you that God is a God that need to be worshipped and, and need to be endured and need to be uh, honored or reverence, but however, but no one ever told you to worship something it means that now you have to know them for who they are and so some of us tend to to think in perspective be because we don't understand who god is in our lives that we tend to overlook him for the real purpose of why he's there and so jesus sits at the well and so he sits at the well and he's sitting there and he's wanting to know is the woman going to ask him for any drink, and so he do continues on, and he explains to her, "Oh well, well that's well she's the one debating with him about that. Well, well, why should I uh, give you something to drink? It's because she's looking at you know because you're dressed a certain way. It's because your 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 people don't hardly talk to my people, and and so if you know the history, the history was." After uh, Solomon, Solomon, uh, David's son, after he married the, the, the one of the international women is that he, you know, well, uh, once they got a divorce, they had to split the country. And so ever since that day, uh, uh, the, the I, I think it was the north and the south uh, uh, of the Jews country was divided into two. And so those two countries that were divided, God gave that to Solomon as a as he kept his promise to his father David, uh, for 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 all he done for him, but 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 ever since that split happened, the the northern Jews, which I believe, which was where the Samaria woman was at, where they didn't talk to to the Jews, the ones or in the south where Jesus knew where, and so the northern people had uh, the old shrines. I'm talking about when I mean, you talking about the old shacket churches that that you know you go to. Um, Talking with the one that, that that's boarded up in wood, and so the altar is ought to have a wood altar, and and so they do things old school there. But when you go to where Jesus knew was that the Jews, there they have all gold cups and and and, and all these high, high intensity things, where they use to 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 drink out of and to worship God with. And so when she see a man that's with his statue sitting outside of the well that was promised to her. Uh, to her people, and she's wondering, what is this this well-dressed man doing here, sitting here, in, in front of us? 
and she's wondering, you know, you, you your your people don't normally talk to my people, but 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 the thing that Jesus didn't matter where the where the difference here he was more concerned about that 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 yeah regardless of where you came from you know all folks used to say no no it's not where you came from but but it's where you're going and then so so Jesus didn't care where she came from she came from 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 other men she she came from messing with five different men but Jesus didn't care about if, if he was a six man he only cared about about her about about what she, but but about, about about what her worthy was to him, and so she came to him with a well, hoping that that if she keep going from man to man, that she keep going to water to water, that she can get her thrints quince. And so she keeps looking for, I said, uh, acclamation, and she keeps look, look, uh, looking, uh, uh, yeah, for men to tell her how beautiful she is and and, and how telling she, she is and so she thinks that that that's what's going going to keep her uh feeling valued but however but when she came to the well he just wanted to point out to her that your value isn't what what folks say about you or it isn't what people want to say about you and because he just don't want us in that position because when when we attempt to lean upon people uh uh finna say uh validations did we attend? Did we attend to be 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 always looking for their validation? And so the reason why we won't get up and do things is because we feel like you know you know because we, you know we feel we're not appreciated and, and yeah and so even even though that those things are true, however, but but we're pulling from the wrong type of source. That's when Jesus said to her, "But if you come unto me, that I'm willing to put a well inside of you and." Other words, he's willing to take and to show you how worthy that you really are to him. He's really to pour the worthiness that he has in him into you. And so no longer do you have to walk around wanting approval from other men or walk around wanting approval from other people uh, uh, just because that you don't feel like you don't know who you are or, or, or where you're going. Or, uh, and so... When, when Jesus said to her, that's why my father is looking for people who's willing to worship him in spirit and in truth. And so, so it, it is, I'm telling you that it is a dishonor un, unto us. Yeah. For us to, to not go to God and for us not to want God to pour into us so we can know who we are and so that we can finally feel a worthiness uh, 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 of that we are somebody that that we are uh, uh someone special we are someone uh who are who is meant to be loved now i have uh sevenfold blessings that i wanted to speak over into your lives so uh number one speaks that i, I speak blessings of health for you and your family uh blessings number two says i speak blessings of deliverance from my habits from any habits that you have in your life uh s number three says i speak blessings of peace to your mind from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you number four i speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones number five i speak comfort to any person hurting lonely bereaved or confused Number six, I speak blessings of finances, of debt cancellations, of prosperity, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotions in your life to complete your assignment to move forward in your purpose. Yeah, we're going to do the uh bit benedential uh speech so then we 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 can end service and say may God bless you, may God keep you, may God smile on you, may God gift you, may God look you full in the face and make you prosper.